Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be discussing another topic that is necessary in writing your chapter 2. But before that, please like and share first this video and subscribe and click that notification bell for you to be updated on our next videos. Today, we will be discussing another topic no, that is related in writing your chapter 2. So, let's start. Now, class, I know you are familiar with posting your uh, posting pictures, um, videos no, on Facebook. I know you all, we all have experienced that. And as you can observe, may mga... Um, may mga nilalagay tayo sa baba na mga CTTO or credits to the owner. Right? Why are we putting that? No, mainly because we are not the owner of that certain image or we are not the one who captured that image. Okay? So that is why it feels good no, to be recognized for something you do. Diba? If tayo yung nakakapture ng picture na yon, lahira sa feeling kung ma-recognize tayo, matag tayo. Okay? Whether maliit man yan na bagay or malaki, being recognized is really something that is good, no? In in the feeling of that someone nga nag-capture or honor anang uh, image, no? Conversely, if your work is used without any mention of you as the creator, you will surely feel that is unfair and unethical. Now, on the other hand naman, kapag hindi tayo ma-recognize, it is somehow unfair on our part being the owner, the creator of that uh, thing. No? So that is why it is very important to cite our sources in academic writing or in research writing. Okay? So today, we will be discussing about Citing sources. Okay, to start, in academic community, much premium is placed on attributing something to the right person. So it is important that credit is given where credit is due. No? Ika nga, bigay kay Juan what belongs to Juan and to Pedro what belongs to Pedro. Okay? In research, it is very important class. Malaking bagay yan. Now, why are we, uh, why are we citing sources, ma'am? Bakit ano para saan po ba mag-cite ng source? Why are we citing sources? Why is it that in research hindi opinion na lang namin na lang namin lahat? Okay, bakit kaya? Because of this, it is important not only to get information from credible sources, but also to properly document all borrowed ideas. Information, concepts, arguments, or information and attribute them to the owners or creators. Okay? And this is done by citing sources. Malaking bagay talaga ang pag-cite ng source is because the sources we are using are just borrowed ideas. Kaya nga pinaparaphrase natin to avoid plagiarism. No? And aside from paraphrasing, we acknowledge the source because that is not our opinion class. That is an intellectual property. No? Property yan ng author na yan na ginamit mo. Intellectual property na yan. Kaya nga, um, it is a crime no, to copy and paste someone's work. Another purpose for citing sources is because of these three um, main purpose. Okay? So, this procedure, which is integral part of academic and professional writing, serves the following purposes. Number one, to give credit to the original author of a work. We all know that. Second, to promote scholarly writing. Okay? And number three, to help your target audience identify your original source. So, balik tayo sa second, to promote scholarly writing. I know class, you already have made an essay. 
if, even in your assessments, you some of the exams ninyo, pinapagawa tayo ng essay. Lalong-lalo na sa performance task. Now, what is the difference between essay writing and scholarly writing? Sa essay writing class, opinionated yon, Opinion natin lahat yon ang nandoon. No, ang sinusulat natin are all our opinions. Whereas a scholarly writing, we have an opinion, we have a claim, and it should be backed up with authors, with ideas from different authors. That is what we call scholarly writing. And that is what we are promoting in our research. Okay? Now, we have forms of citations. Okay? Number one is in-text citation. From the word in text, meaning you are citing source inside the text. No, the, the 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 source should be written in the text. Now, how will we do this? This requires the writer to cite the details of the reference used in a certain part of his or her essay. The format of it of in-text citation vary per style. So we have two ways in citing our. Uh, source class uh, in-text citation. Just take a look at the example uh, The example that will be followed later on. So, this is sa in-text citation. Merong idea, no? And then, merong author dito sa baba. Tsaka may year. Take note, author's uh, surname only, no initials. Itong et al. class, it will be discussed to you later on kung paano ito gamitin. Tapos, may year. Okay? So, that is for in-text citation. Uh, the second form of citation is reference citation. Sa reference citation class, ang makikita natin dito is the complete bibliographic entries of all references used by the writer or the researcher. This appears in a reference list found at the last part of your paper. Sa last part, hindi siya makita class. Walay reference list nga nasa tubangan. So, I know you're already familiar with this one kasi may mga reference ang inyong modules. So, makikita ninyo ito sa last part ng inyong modules. As you can see, doon sa in-text citation, si Cummings and 2002 lang ang nakita ninyo. In the reference list, kompleto na yan. Si et al. na-mention na sila. Kining others, other authors um, nakasama ni Cummings. And then, the complete bibliographic entries of these authors, title of their article, and then um, title ng journal, no? kung saan pinablish, at saka um, uh, certain um, mga volume number and page numbers and so on and so forth, uh, information no, nga about that author. Alright? So, these two forms of citation class are dependent on each other. When we say dependent, Naka, nakadepende yung isa sa isa. Okay? Kagaya ninyo ngayon, you are still um, dependent with your parents kasi you cannot yet stand on your own. So, si research class, dependent din sila sa isa't isa. Kasi once a source is cited in in-text, it should also be appear or it should also appear in the reference list or else it may be considered a form of plagiarism. Hindi ka pwede mag-cite ng author sa in-text citation na hindi mo nilagay yung complete details niya sa reference references. At the same time, hindi ka pwede maglagay ng author sa reference list kung hindi mo siya mention sa inyong in-text citation. Just like this one. Okay? Si Cummings et al. 2002 was mentioned in the in-text citation. Therefore, Cummings et al. should also appear in the reference list. So, ito. Kuha. They should appear in the index and the reference, li reference list. Vice versa na siya class. Kung nasa reference list, naapo siya sa index. Kung nasa index, naapo sa reference list. Kung wala ganin niyo siya gimension sa inyong index citation class, ayaw ninyo ibutang sa inyong reference. Now, we have different style guides class. Marami tayong style guides. This is just the, the basic, no, nga, akong, gilagay, akong gibutang diri, are just the basic types of styles. 
Now, highlighted in yellow is the, the format or the style that we are using. The APA format or the APA style, which means American Psychological Association. Second, meron din tayong tinatawag na MLA, which means Modern Language Association. Another is the IEEE style, meaning Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. Number four, AMA or American Medical Association Manual. And lastly is the Chicago Manual of Style. So since we will be using the APA format or the APA style, we will be following its guidelines. No? First is we will be discussing the guidelines in in-text citation. Okay, as I have said, APA style tayo. So this is coming from uh, the basic citation rules, uh, APA 6th edition, pages 169 to 179. So first guideline is follow the format latest year of publication method. Okay, so again, 10 years backwards tayo. Although not required, APA encourages you to indicate the page numbers even in paraphrases or summaries, place the period after the citation when it is at the end of the sentence. Example. Take a look at the two examples class. What is the difference between how the sources in example number one is different with the example number two? Observe paano sila gisite sa kada example. Okay. As you can see in the first example, the author was cited at the beginning of the sentence. Nilagay si author sa beginning ng sentence. Apelido si Pasho. Open parenthesis, year of publication, close parenthesis, comma. Followed by the idea of the author. Second example class, na una si idea followed by the author. Pero, nakaparenthesis silang dalawa. Si author and the year. Separated by a comma. Tapos, dyan ka pa maglalagay ng period. Take note of that class ha. Kapag i-mention ninyo si author sa beginning ng sentence, ang iparenthesis lang ay ang year. Tapos, kapag nasya sa end of the sentence, Ang apelido at saka ang year, ang iparenthesis, separated by a comma. The period should come after the close parenthesis. Dili dapat si period mabutang before. After siya dapat. Kasi belong siya sa sentence. Alright? Now, you can begin class your um, your sentence with the uh, kuan mismo. Apelido ng author. Pero maglagay mag-anak kay i-add diri uh, before the idea. Let's say may ingon kag si Pasho 2014 verb mag add ka nag verb claim that APA style is required for business student majors. That is kung dili ka mo gamit og according to. Okay? So yan ang difference ng dalawa. That is those are the two ways in citing a source. Now, there are times, class, na makakihit na tayo ng author na isa lang. So, just follow the format. Ikaw na bahala kung asa ni mo siya ibutang sa beginning ba sa sentence or sa end sa sentence. So, the same. No? Parehan na rin gain na. Now, there are also authors na dalawa. Okay? If there are two authors, notice in the example the use of this symbol. Ang meaning ani di ba kay and? Pero ang tawag ani class is ampersand. Kini nga symbol. Now, when the citations are inside the parenthesis, you're going to use ampersand. Take a look at this example. Okay? As you can see, sa first example, dalawa sila na author, pero connected ang dalawang author with the word and. Ganon pa rin, nakaparenthesis ang year. Sa second example class, wala na ka nag-spell out sa and, but you use the ampersand. Okay? Take note of that ha. Importante ni siya class when citing a source. Ayaw, basta nakaparenthesis ang ang author, ayaw mo pagbutang og spell out nga and. Ang percent na siya. And the year of course. Okay? That is for the two authors. 
Now, there are also uh, resources that has three to five authors. How are we going to cite them? Name all three during the first citation. Pag first, ni mo siya gisite, no? first time na yung sila gisite, you are going to mention all the three or five, depende kung pilan as sila ka-author. Then use the primary author followed by et al. No? Gagamit ka ng et al class when or during subsequent citations kapag inulit mo ulit yung kanilang ideas kapag you mention mo kapag you mention na pud nimo ang ideas nila that's the time that you are going to use et al at saka yung primary author ang kukunin mo halimbawa by the way ang meaning ni et al is and others okay and others ni siya class So, halimbawa ito, tatlong authors sila. According to si Pasho, Kama, Barot, and spell out kasi wala nakaparenteses, Sanchez. Nakaparenteses si Year. Then, the idea. Okay? First citation ni ha, first time ninyo na mention si o, sila authors. Then, if second way, the idea, and then, First author, second author, and then ampersand, and uh, kama, napani siya yung kama diri, ah. Ah, ikaw na to. Kama, hindi siya kay authors ni siya. And others pala. Others. Okay, yan. So, kine. Kama, tapos 2014. No? First citation. Mention all the authors. Subsequent citation, sinabi dito, then use the primary author followed by et al. Ang primary author ng idea na yon is si, 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 si Pasho. Kasi siya yung nauna. No? Bisan pa class, o letter S siya na, letter B na, letter A sa mga kuan, dili siya alphabetical ha, din ha ah. Kung kinsa tong una na mention, siya ang magdala sa idea et al na ang the rest no so you will say si pasho et al period then the idea verb tapos that and then the idea ang tuig na nadiri sa tumoy naka parenthesis period pero pwede pa pud class na po ibang source nga si year ibutang dira after the et al it could also be okay another way kung nasa end ang pag-cite sa author. Of course, the idea will come first, then open parenthesis, author, primary author, then et al, period, kama, 2014, close parenthesis, period. Ha? Observe class the uh, mga symbol, kana mga period, kama, kanos ana sila gamiton. Kasi it is important class in citing our source or in, in our research. Okay, next is direct quotation. This direct quotation class, dili na to ni usually ginagamit. Rare lang kainu siya. But, um, when when do we cite, ma'am? Or when do we direct quote, ma'am? Tanos kami mag-use of direct quotation. As far as I can remember class, sa ako ang college professor, niingon siya that you're going to use direct quotation if the idea of that author that you want or that you wanted to use or you wanted to borrow, malahi siya when you paraphrase. Kasi unique yung mga words na ginamit. To the point nga, kapag i-paraphrase ninyo, malahi iyang meaning. That's the time that you're going to use the recitation. Okay? Now, when you are using or when you are um, borrowing ideas that are less than 40 words, you are required class to include the page numbers enclosed in parentheses. The page number must be preceded by small letter P or small uh, double P for multiple pages. Kapag isang page lang, is, isang P lang. Kapag multiple pages, dalawang P. Now, check the example focusing on the formats and the use of capitalizations, parentheses, quotation marks, period, spacing, and numbers. Okay. Try to look at the example. Si Sipasyo pa rin, 2014, claimed that. Okay, this is the idea in quotation marks. 
Okay, nakaparentese si page number, tapos period. Okay? Another example, naadan lang og according to, nawala si claim that, then diretsyo na sa idea, and then page number. Then, it could also be like this. He claimed that beginners found the APA style guide too complex than the author because of several factors. Okay? Kung i-enclose sa parenthesis ang both um, surname of the author and the uh, year of publication, isabay po sa sulod sa parenthesis si page number. Okay? Now, that is for less than 40 words. This time, for more than 40 words, you are still required to include the page numbers. Start your quotation in a new line with a one-half indentation on the left margin. There is no need to enclose long quotations in quotation marks, but the parenthetical citation should be placed after the period. Okay, example is this one. Okay, I know you have already seen in some of your modules, no? Na ganito. Okay? Mayingon ka. In his article, ito yung title ng article niya, main title, tsaka after this, pag na colon class, ang nag-follow, ana, that is the uh, subtitle. Then, the author suggests, kay isa raman siya, it should carry the S form. Kapag dalawa sila, suggest lang na siya. Okay? A list of causes of poverty. Okay, so money ang dimension nga, causes of poverty. Okay, more than 40 words man asya, aramang daghana. So, si page number na adri asa, tumoy. Okay, so, ayan. Okay, that is for the recotation. Now, next is the guidelines for reference citation. Kanto kay in-text citation man to siya. Now, let's proceed to the guidelines in Reference citation. Still in APA 6th edition. First is place the reference list on a new page separate from the next or from the text of your writing. Okay? If say for example, this is your um, this is your paper. Let's say. So this is your research paper. Halimbawa, chapter 2 ito. No? Ang iyong chapter 2 nag-end diri tunga-tunga sa inyuhang paper. So dako ko man siyag space diri ah, sa ubos, no? Dili na to na siya butangan og reference list. Sabi dito, new page separate, no? I separate gyud nato si new page as si reference list class bisan pag isa lang ang kalain ang occupy din ha sa kini nga page, no? Ilahi gyud nato si reference list. Diri ah gyud sa next page. Okay? Now, label this page references and align it at the top center of the page. Center gina siya. Dili sa left margin or sa right margin. Center gina siya. Do not use bold face, underline, or quotation marks for the title. Mora gina siya. Ayaw i-bold, ayaw i-underline, ayaw po siya a quotation. Okay? Next guideline. Apply hanging indentation. Okay, si hanging indentation class is ang naka-indent is yung second line up to the third line or pila ba naka line ang mo-follow after the author. Kana ang i-indent. Dili ang first line. Kabaliktaran sa ating paragraph. ba? We have a paragraph and then ang first line i-indent. Pero sa reference list class, kabaliktaran. Hindi i-indent sa first line, ang second line ang i-indent. Okay? This simply means the lines following the first line in an entry should be indented from the left margin. Okay? So, paano ito gawin? So, let, let's take a look at this one. The research carried out by Zarfras 2011 showed that majority of blah, 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 blah. So, you, you find his idea useful and so, giparaphrase ni mo and then gigamit ni mo siya sa imuhang study. So, si Zarfras, dapat ma-mention po siya sa inyong reference list. So, you're going to, to find Zarfras, Zarfras in the reference list of this article. So, naara. So, you copy that one and then paste it into your paper. 
So, i-paste si Zara Frost diri ah, sa inyong references. Tapos, again, balik ta. So, kung ingon ani pagka-paste class, balik ta. Inanin pagka-paste. So, ingon ani ang dagway pagka-paste ninyo diri ah. So, what you're going to do is change first the, the font. Arial man tayo, tapos 12. Tapos kanina nga putol, i-backspace lang. Tapos justified. So, unsaon paghanging indent. So, kung itab ni mo na, okay, musabay tanan. So, what you're going to do is, look at this ruler, i-click ning baba, putol man na siya, kinilang baba. Kung musabay ang duha, i-click again. Hantod, isa na lang ang madrag. So, i-drag siya sa number 1. Okay, ana na, hanging indent na na siya. Okay? So, mo lang, ana lang siya kasayon. Now, let's go back to our PowerPoint. Now, all text should be double space, just like the rest of the paper. No, ang ginamin diri a class is katong in between sa author. Okay, papakita natin mamaya. Tapos, follow the sequence in writing, the names of the author, last name, first name, initial, middle initial. Initial lang talaga lahat class. Ang nakamention lang is ang last name. Ang the rest of the names, ang first name and middle in, middle name, naka-initial lang na sila. Then, arrange the references in alphabetical order based on the last name of the authors. Okay? Do not cut or add the titles. So, let's say, kuha pa tadrig mga other authors. Malimbawa lang ni siya class, ha? Okay, so, mag-paste pa tawag lang author para kita na to ang difference. So, Arial 12. Kaya mga nangakat, ikuan lang siya, sumpay. Ayan. Okay, justify. Alright, hanging indention. Again, i-drag ang ruler. Okay, nasabay siya. So, try again. Siya ni Kuyo. Okay na. Pwede na siya itab. Okay. Kung pwede itab, itab. Pero dili, moto niyong gamito ng ruler. So, dapat daw, kuan siya, um, double space. Pero dili ang ginamin ani ang double space, i-double space ninyo tanan ha. Ana ang dagway ko i-double space ninyo tanan. Wala ba ko nakita na reference list ngayon ani. So ang ginamin ato is in between sa mga author. So just enter that one, enter. So ana lang ang spacing class. Tapos dapat naka-alphabetical order daw ni siya based on the last name of the authors. So A to Z, naka-alphabetical. Untay A S man sila tanan. So Kayo nang bahala dyan, mag-alphabetical. Tapos, do not cut the or add the titles. Now, follow ta. No? Example ito. Kay tuluman ni sila ka-authors. Apelido, kama. Initial sa name. Period, kama. Second author, apelido, kama. Uh, initial sa first name, period, kama. And, ang uh, ampersand. Tapos, last name of the author, of the last author kama first name a uh, first initial of uh, initial of the first name period and then enclosed in the parentheses is the year of publication period it will be followed by a title kinestia title ni siya class of the article no as you can see class no um ang naka capitalize lang is the first Title, a first word of the first letter of the first word of the title. And also the first letter or the first letter of the first word of the subtitle. You will know kung na ay subtitle kung na ay colon. Okay? Now, kailan tayo mag-capitalize? I, ako na lang ipakita para di na tama ko. Mamention ni siya unya. Ako na lang ipakita diri ah. Kung sa title class na ay um, proper noun. Okay? Kung na proper nouns, i-capitalize siya. What is proper noun? No, A proper noun is a particular name of a person, place, things, or idea. 
No, example, lamang tayo common noun o proper noun. Common noun, we have um, place. Kasi mga common noun, Anna. We have Philippines, Japan, Canada, Singapore, and so on and so forth. Proper noun yon. Kung na sila sa title, ayo to sila i um i capitalize to sila dapat I mean. Just like this one, ang English. No proper noun man as English, that is why nakakapitalize. Then si Thai. Thai also is a proper noun. Si EFL is an abbreviation, that's why big letter na sila tanan. Okay? So, sa title na siya, hanga case. Now, kinidili na ni siya title class. This is the, uh, this, dili na ni title sa article, but sa journal. Kung asa ni siya, gipublish nga article. So, pag meron ganito, ang i-italize is ito. Ang title sa journal. Ayaw na si title of the article. Pero kung wala gani ang title sa journal, you're going to uh, italicize the title of the article. Say, for example, hmm, oh, wala may example diri ah, na may kuantanan ah, journal title. So, kana ang i, I, I italicize. Okay. Yan. So, kung wala ni siya class, kini ang title sa article ang italicize. Okay? Now, let's proceed sa next guideline. Next is, okay, ito na yung sinabi ko kanina. Capitalize only the first letter of the first word of the title, the first letter of the first word of the subtitle after a colon, and the proper nouns. Then, italicize the titles. When the article title is used, italicize only the journal title. Okay, this is what I am saying kanina sa italization. Tapos, for online sources, make sure to remove the hyperlink of the URL. Di ba sometimes na ay mag-blue, no? Sa ato ang reference list. URL na siya, class, naka-hyperlink. Kapag ganoon, i-highlight lang doon siya, punta ka sa color ng text, choose black, tapos i-underline ni mo, katong na letter U, tapos i-click na para mawala ang underline. Then, for print sources, place a period at the end of the entry. Tapos, put ND for no date, sources with no date. Naiusahay class na mga sources nga nakabutang ND. Okay ra na siya. Kung i-identify mismo sa imong source nga walay date, ND ang nakabutang. You can still use that one. Pero pag merong date or merong year, put, put the year. Okay? So, yan. So, those are the information about citing sources. If you have any question class, just ask me in our uh, GC or kung hindi ka man member in ating GC, just comment in the comment section for you or for me to be um, notified on your query. Okay? So, that's the end of our presentation. Thank you so much, class, for listening. And please like and share this video. Please subscribe na rin for you to for you to be notified in our next videos. Thank you so much for listening and goodbye everyone!